Step number two to lead your emotions is anticipate your triggers. During this session, I'm going to share with you an example and you'll learn how you can do it. Once you've identified your triggers, you'll know what you're looking for and you should be able to see the triggers coming. This lets you prepare yourself for times when you're going to encounter these triggers so you can decide the appropriate response. This gives you the opportunity to go through the steps with confidence and ultimately respond appropriately. Let's learn through an example. This comes from the film Gandhi. And in this scene, a young pastor from India joins Gandhi in South Africa to learn about his movement. They're walking down the street. They confront some young men who are not very friendly. Take in the scene. I've got it. You'd be Gandhi. I thought you'd be bigger. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's all right. My name's Charlie Andrews. Uh, I've come from India. I've read a great deal about you. Some of it good, I hope. Would you care to walk? I, uh... You're a clergyman? Yes. Uh... I met some remarkable people in India, and uh, when I read what you were doing here, I, um, I wanted to help. <laughs> Is that surprising? Not anymore. At first, I was amazed, but when you're fighting in a just cause, people seem to pop up, like you, right out of the pavement, even when it's dangerous or... Hey, look what's coming. A white shepherd leading a brown sammy. <laughs> uh... Perhaps we should, um... Doesn't the New Testament say if your enemy strikes you on the right cheek, offer him the left? Well, uh, I, th I think perhaps the phrase was used metaphorically. I don't, I don't think that... Uh, I'm not so sure. I, I have thought about it a great deal, and I suspect he meant you must show courage. Be willing to take a blow, several blows, to show you will not strike back, nor will you be turned aside. And when you do that, it calls on something in human nature, something that makes his hatred for you decrease and his respect increase. I think Christ grasped that and I have seen it work. Good morning. Get off the pavement, you bloody coon. Yeah, get off. Careful. <laughs> Alan! Alan! What you doing? Nothing. Come out where I can see you. Yeah. I said, what you doing? We were just trying to clean up the neighborhood a little. You're late for work already. I thought you'd gone ten minutes ago. Get on! You'll find there's room for us all. That was lucky. I thought you were a man of God. Well, I am, but I'm not so egotistical as to think he plans his day around my dilemmas. <laughs> Gandhi anticipates his triggers. As he and the young pastor walk toward these young men, he knows it's coming. Speaker, he sees that they're not looking very friendly. Topics, racism, hate, words, bloody coon, and other derogatory names directed at him. What an inspirational example on how to lead your emotions. The Master. He knows it's coming, but he has worked through what matters most for him. And he realizes it takes practice and disciplined thought to be able to go through these challenges. And that's the case with you as well. Your call for action and what I most hope for you is to be able to anticipate the triggers that come in your life. Sense, interpret, evaluate, respond appropriately, and you will listen, lead, and succeed. During our next session, we'll focus on the third step to lead your emotions.